Hi guys, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to today's video. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Natasha Rashid. I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, and lip swatches video. So be sure you guys subscribe to my channel and ring a bell if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. In today's video, we're going to dive into a review and first impression on foundation and concealer from Wardah Beauty. So this is my first time ever trying out product from Wardah Beauty. Now let's get into this review. Here's the product that I'm gonna be reviewing in this video so this is Warda foundation and this is the concealer for this foundation it's called Warda lightening liquid foundation and there are four shades available so this is in the shade ivory and the other product is the concealer it's called Warda lightening liquid concealer so this is in the shade beige 02 hopefully the shades of this two matches with my skin color so yeah this is my first time ever trying out Warda beauty products I haven't swatched I haven't touched the products yet so now let's get into unboxing so here it is how the foundation product looks like. It is in natural matte finish. I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation so I kind of wonder on how it looks like on my skin. I'm kind of excited to try out this. Even though there are four shades available only but it kind of tricky actually to pick the right shade for my skin color because I always end up to have like super light shade on my skin or a little bit tan than my skin color. So. I really do hope that this shade matches with my skin color. Now that I've already unboxed this Warda Lightening Liquid Concealer, so this is how the product looks like. It's compact and travel friendly just like the foundation. I really do love this kind of packaging. It's so easy to bring anywhere I want. Hopefully the quality wonderful on my skin too. I'm gonna read a little bit of information at the back of this packaging. So here it is. It states in Malay language or Indonesian language since that this product came from Indonesia. It says here liquid foundation yang terasa ringan natural dan nyaman digunakan setiap hari micronized bright pigment mencerahkan dan menjadikan kulit terasa lebih halus tahan lama sehingga 12 jam untuk wajah cerah natural di setiap aktivitas or it says activity oil absorber untuk bantu menyerap minyak secara optimal SPF 30 optimal bantu melindungi kulit dari sinar UV berbahaya yang menyebabkan warna kulit lebih gelap vitamin E bantu menjaga kelembapan di kulit I'm gonna swatch a little bit at the back of my hand so you guys can see how the texture looks like so just a little bit and you guys can see so there it is a little bit too much I guess because it's a little bit liquidy as you guys can see from this video so let's just do swatches at the back of my hand here so this is in the shade ivory it has a yellow undertone on it and I'm glad that I picked this shade hopefully it suits with me I'm so afraid that it might turns out to be like a pinkish tone on me so yeah I really do have high expectation on this so I'm gonna leave this color right here for a while and swatch it again here to see whether it's oxidized or not now let's start off with makeup application but first I'm gonna correct my dark circle under my eyes here just a little bit so I'm just gonna use my lip cream color as my corrector right here also on this part because the scar is kind of way too dark I'm gonna swatch and apply the foundation on half of my face first so you guys can see the comparison between left side and right side. It says here it matches with all skin types so yeah for normal to dry skin to oily skin you can suits with this foundation. We'll see about it later how it end up on my skin, how it settle down. I'm in a normal skin type so if you are in the same skin type like me you should watch this video until the end of it. Now let's start off with this makeup application. blend out this together and see how it looks like just now you can see that I have redness around here which is my pimple now let's see how it settled down it blurs out a little bit but I still can see the redness peeking through it's better than before I guess
Talking about the color wise, I mean the shade that I picked for this foundation, it matches with my skin tone. But I can see that the yellow undertone peeking through a little bit too much. Personally, I think this is better than the other two shades that is lighter than this one. I would probably end up to be a little bit pale on that kind of shade. So this one is perfect, I guess. It matches with the person in olive skin tone as well. So here it is how the finishing looks like on half of my face. You guys can see this clearly from this video. It's so natural, it almost like skin like finish texture. I don't feel heavy on my skin, it's so lightweight and it blurs out a little bit of redness around my nose right here. But it didn't cover too much because yeah, the coverage is kind of medium as far as I can see from this mirror. I feel good with it, it doesn't enhance any of my skin texture but I do not know how it ended up in few hours. So let's just see. Yes, it has natural matte finish just like it says from this tube packaging. Yeah, I really love this. Now I'm gonna do on all over my face just to complete this look. The texture is a little bit runny and liquidy so you guys have to be careful with this formula. So it blurs out that scars and that's good. It blurs out this scar as well, but I still can see that dark scar peeking through. It's kind of diminished, so that's more than enough for medium coverage, I guess. It feels lightweight and I feel good with it. I feel good with the color that I picked as well. Yeah, I'm so happy so far. I would probably just conceal this part or this part with the concealer from Warda Beauty but first I'm gonna show you the swatch that I did right here so let's see the fresh swatch right here and see the comparison between these two. So this is the fresh swatch of this liquid foundation. It's so runny you have to be careful with it. This is how it looks like. So it is oxidized. In a few hours or in a few minutes later, I will turn out into a kind of yellow to orangey color on my skin. But let's just see with a full makeup. Hopefully it doesn't look a little bit too orange on my skin. Now let's talk about this concealer. This is Warda concealer in the shade beige. So this concealer claims to have medium to high coverage which can cover our acne scars. So let's see how the color looks like at the back of my hand first. So this is the applicator of this concealer. It's just like a normal type of applicator. So it has a little bit orangey and yellow undertone on it. This would be perfect for covering scars before go for the concealer that is lighter than this color. There are only two shades available for this one. So let's just see how it cover my acne scars right there. So yeah, it has medium to high coverage and it covers pretty well too. Okay, so this is how the finishing of these two products on my face and so far I'm loving them. So now it is 4 5 minutes in the morning. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back with you guys. Hey guys, I'm back. So now it's been one hour and a half. I'm wearing this foundation on. Now that I have my full makeup, so now it is time to review about this foundation and concealer. So far as I'm wearing this for one hour and a half, I feel so comfortable on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel that I'm wearing foundation on. Since that it's oxidized a little bit, so my skin turned into a kind of yellow 
to orangey tone but it's not too obvious so I'm happy with that I also did flash photography test and I don't see any white cast peeking through it's just a little bit yellowish since that this foundation has yellow undertone on it and this foundation does have natural matte finish it doesn't have a kind of glow finish or dewy finish so if you're the kind that wanting the finishing that is in natural matte this is the one for you plus I think this would be so suitable for normal to oily skin types it has a medium to buildable coverage so I think for this foundation if you want to work out this as total cover of foundation you can just apply another layer on your face but for me one layer should be enough so the rest I would just conceal with the concealer so for this concealer I would say that it has medium to high coverage as well and it's so easy to blend just like the foundation even though the texture is a little bit thick, it's easy to set on the things that we want to cover. But we just need to be careful in applying this on under eyes that tends to be creasing. So I can see that it's a little bit creasing down here. It's just a little bit, it's just minor so you won't probably see it through this video. Talking again about this foundation, I'm glad that it's not having a cakey texture whenever I'm wearing this for one hour and a half. I think it's more than enough for one hour and a half to see how good this foundation settled down. For my smile lines around here, I don't see that it's peeking through a lot and yeah, it doesn't enhance my smile line texture around here so that's good. I'm not seeing this product collected so much around this area or this area. The part that I move too much which is around here because I'm talking, I'm eating and I'm laughing. For me, this is good. I'm loving the texture so much. It's in a natural finish. It does look natural. I can see myself using this foundation more and more. So yeah, I'm loving this foundation. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter on my nose and my cheekbones just to make it more complete. So I guess that's all for my review about these two products from Wardah Beauty. I am glad that I finally tried on this product on my face. You can get this foundation through online shopping or through Watson's or Guardian. It comes with affordable price as well. So yeah, I would say it's actually good for beginner. But tell me if you want to see more of drugstore foundation to be reviewed on. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye.